Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of gravity painted watercolours. I'm Catherine Beale. I'm a painter who lives in the beautiful city of Bath in England, but it wasn't always the case. I began painting 25 years ago in Singapore and I used oil paints. So when I came back to England and I could see that the temperate climate was asking and begging for watercolour landscapes, I started to devise my own way of painting. Basically, what I do is I use a watercolour board, which will not buckle, and I place it really vertically on the easel, and then I use luscious tubed watercolour paints, the professional colours, which are very strong and have beautiful saturation, and I place them against the other end of the spectrum of watercolours, which is cascades of veiled colour. And a combination of those two elements, the very dense tubed paint and the soft, subtle veils of watercolour, I think creates quite an interesting mix. So that's what I like to call these techniques, gravity painting. So I am communicate this online, particularly at the moment with the coronavirus. Online workshops have been a very useful way for people to connect through painting. And here is an example of a watercolour workshop that I actually get, gave today. So what I've started out with is sending each participant a source photograph, a picture of a painting that I have used that sort of photograph to create, and a description of materials they will need, all the colours that I use for that particular painting, and a description of the brushes that I use. And then we go through, starting with an explanation of composition. Now with watercolours, a lot of people are worried because they feel the trepidation of watercolours. The idea being that once you place a watercolour um, paint onto a page, you cannot change it. Well, actually, I debunk a lot of those myths for them because the watercolour board is, has got incredible sizing. So sizing is the surface of the paper. You can wash off with watercolour board. It means that you really don't throw your paintings away. You can adjust them. On top of that, watercolour board doesn't buckle. So you can create very clean, clear edges to your work. And um, the water can pool in specific areas, which you control by placing water on the page only within certain zones. On top of that, there's a wonderful element of being able to lift out of your painting to create lighter areas after the, the painting has been placed on. So for instance, these reflections were cut through with a lifting off brush, or what I call a lifting off brush. I also taught through things like guarding your whites, which is also important with watercolours, so that areas of high contrast can really stand out. But at the same time, I explain about the properties of other types of paints, granular paints that create texture, soft, grainy paints, and also the wonder of super transparent paints like turquoise. This painting should also help you understand how unstressful watercolours can be if you have a plan. So first of all, what I did was I guarded my whites, so I protected the area where the moon is. And after I was sure that that was not going to get any paint on it, by leaving it dry, I then wet the whole of the rest of the painting. Then I dropped in cascading colour, which blended beautifully. And this is what watercolours does. It blends beautifully. And then after I'd got the whole of this background in, I managed to place the foreground on top the tree being dark, it didn't have to go on first. It can go over all the colours that I placed on before. And then within some of these passages, you'll see some lovely shapes that the water actually creates itself. These cauliflowers, a lot of people dislike, but I love them because they create subtlety. So hopefully you can see that there's a great fun in painting on the vertical and using watercolour board with so that taking some of the trepidation out of watercolours. And you can join me on my workshops. They're on katherinebeal.com, my website. And also you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at, at Art. Hopefully you can join me soon.